Growing locally on Mars or the moon, it has some real extreme meaning. There are no alternatives to getting fresh food. This is the lunar greenhouse, the LGH. They keep it sort of hidden here on the University of Arizona campus near Tucson. It's where down-to-earth agriculture is aiming for the stars. So picture this, a rocket lands on the moon or Mars, robots unpack and start up a portable greenhouse. By the time astronauts arrive, fresh food and oxygen are already waiting for them. It is portable, it is collapsible, it is lightweight, it is self-sustaining. It can be packed into a rocket, brought to another planet, and deployed robotically without anyone being there. And the unit that we have now is theoretically the size necessary to support one astronaut on a daily basis, all of their oxygen needs, all of their fresh water needs, and about one half of their caloric value that they need on a daily basis. Tyler Jensen and David Story are just two of the young green thumbs drawn to making the LGH work. I'm always checking the sensors and, and making sure things are, are currently growing and, and operating correctly. This chamber behind me is a plant factory robot. All it does is sit there and produce plants. To get humans out of that factor, I'm trying to get computers more part of the sensors and controls of that chamber. And one thing that humans have that computers don't is the ability to look at a plant and say, ah, we've got an insect or a disease or a nutrient deficiency. So what is it about that humans can look at that computers can't? And that's what I'm trying to bridge. And so I have built a camera system that is three cameras, color, near infrared, and thermal. And it looks at plants all day long, every day, without taking a break. Now astronauts have a friendly eye watching their plants while they're busy doing something else. If we recycle all the water we use, we need to find that water on the planet or bring it with us. NASA's goal is to go where the water is. So, some water might have to make the trip and some way to make power. And the greenhouse that we're standing in today is uh, completely powered by solar panels. Know-how from earthly greenhouses here on campus add to the LGH. If this is all starting to sound a little bit far-fetched, Dr. G can bring it all back down to Earth. We will certainly grow plants that we demonstrate here, such as lettuce, tomato, cucumber, strawberry, the herbs, basil, that will help make the palate of their menu a little bit more interesting. And since those crops are all highly perishable, they cannot be stored very long, it's almost impossible to ship them to another planet. You better grow them locally. In NASA's bigger picture of life support, what it really means is providing oxygen and fresh water and the food, as well as we're learning the psychological benefits of having green plants growing in a situation where there's an extreme, unusual, non-typical environment for people.